fractions. Hello children, how are you all? We, we are, are fine teacher. Very good. So today I will teach you about fractions. Children, observe the shapes shown here. Each shape has been divided into two equal parts. Each part is one half of the whole. Children, if you add these parts again, you get a whole. We write one half as one upon two. It is read as one upon two. Two halves together make a whole. Now observe the shapes shown here. Each shape has been divided into three equal parts. Each part is one third of the whole. We write one third as one upon three. It is read as one upon three. And children, when you add these parts again, you get a whole. So three one-thirds together make a whole. Similarly, you can observe these shapes. Here each shape has been divided into four equal parts. So each part is one-fourth of the whole. We write one-fourth as one upon four. We read it as one upon four. Children, now let us take a rectangle. We divide it into four equal parts and out of them shade one part. The shaded part represents one-fourth of the whole. Similarly, you can observe one-fifth, one-sixth, one-tenth from this rectangle. Children, here the shaded parts represented by one-fourth, one-fifth, one-sixth and one-tenth are called the fractions of a whole rectangle. Now here you can see how sometimes shaded portions represent more than one equal part from the whole. Let us divide a rectangle into three equal parts. Here out of three parts, two parts are shaded. Therefore, shaded portion represents two-thirds of the whole. We write it as two upon three and read it as two upon three. Now observe this circle. It is divided into four equal parts. Out of four equal parts, three parts are shaded. Therefore, the shaded part is three-fourths of the whole. We write it as three divided by four. It is read as three upon four. Now observe this rectangle. It is divided into ten equal parts and out of them seven parts are shaded. Therefore, the shaded part is seven-tenths of the whole. It is written as seven upon ten and read as seven upon ten. So, children, we observe that a fraction is a number that names one 
or more equal parts of a whole or a region. We can also observe here that a fraction has two numerals. Both the numerals are separated by a small horizontal line called the fractional bar. The numeral above the bar is called the numerator and the numeral below the bar is called the denominator. The denominator tells us as in how many equal parts a whole has been divided. The numerator tells us how many equal parts of the whole are shaded or taken into consideration.